Okay, Vita. Now we will start with this uh, slide. That's polyester and acrylic, right, Vita? Okay, ma'am. We have done what? Rayon and nylon. Remember what we did yesterday? Yes. Rayon and nylon. Now we are going to do the polyester and acrylic. Okay. So good morning, all of you. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, ma'am. Has the recording started? Yes. Yes. Ma'am, it is recorded. Okay. So let's start. One of you, please start reading up. Polyester, yes, and, polyester acrylic. and acrylic. Polyester, polyester is another synthetic fabric. Fabric Fiber. made from this fiber does not get wrinkled easily. It remains crisp and is easy to wash. So it is quite suitable for making dresses, dress materials. You must have seen people wearing nice polyester shirts and other dresses. Trelly is a popular Trelly. polyester. It can be drawn in Trelly is a popular it can be drawn Trelly Lin is a popular polyester. It can be drawn into very fine fibers that uh, can be worn like, like this. Just a moment. Why are you reading like this? Any other rayon. Huh? Why there is a rush for you to finish it up? I mean, it is not. Or, you know, I, I'm not. I'm feeling good. Please read properly. Say, terrilin is a popular polyester. You don't stop even in the full stop. You have to be very careful with it, otherwise, I will not allow you to continue. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. I want you to stop at the first stop and the comma, and you will read at the yes. Okay, ma'am. Okay. In a, in a very nicer manner. You are just hurrying it up. Don't do that. It doesn't sound good. Now we are coming to polyester. It is a synthetic fiber, and when you make clothes from this fiber, it doesn't get crumpled or wrinkled. Remains very paper crisp, and the best part is it's very easy to wash. So we can make dress materials out of it. You have seen people, even you must have worn polyester shirts and dresses as well. A type of polyester that we are going to work with is terrilin. You can have it uh, drawn into fine fibers uh, that can be woven like any other yarn. Like see, this is how. You can see this. These are all acrylic polyester. So it can be drawn into yes, any type of yarn as others been uh, doing it. And what? What happened? Yarn, yarn. This is called yarn. yarn. When you what weave it, when you, you when you make threads, then you weave it into yarn. From yarn, you make clothes. Yarn. Yarn is a uh, collection that the the fibers the thread is uh, what should I say is put around uh, in how you get the cloth in Hindi we call this khan they uh, remove it and they cut it the same way they put the fibers the, how you get the reels reels of cotton threads you get big big reels of uh, huge reels of uh, fibers that is called as yarn. From yarn, you get clothes. Is it clear? Then it goes for weaving process and then it is woven into clothes. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. Yes. Read. My mother always buys pad bottles and pad jars. For My mother always buys pad jars and pad jars. I wonder jars what pad is. I wonder what pad is. So these pad bottles are very common. The jars, uh, usually housewives, they use it for storing rice and sugar. And this pad is a type of polyester. What it is? It's a type of polyester. Uh, so you read 
Yeah, it is used for read with a read alias name. Pad is a very familiar form of polyester. It is used for making bottles, utensils, films, wires, and many other useful products. Okay. The pet is a very uh, it's available everywhere. You can see everybody is familiar with it. Uh, we make bottles, we make utensils. Utensils is uh, the vessels. Then films, wires, and other useful products. Yes. Read better. Okay, ma'am. Alias, and you want to read, you can read, or I will continue. Polyester and acrylic. We wear sweaters and use shawls or blankets in the winter. Many of these are actually not made from natural wool, so we appear the resemble wool. These are prepared from another type of synthetic fiber called acrylic. The wool obtained from natural source is quite expensive, whereas clothes made from acrylic is re relatively cheap. Okay. Now we see the plus point of the acrylic. What do we wear in winter? Sweaters, shawls, or blankets. Isn't it better? Now, it's not always that we are getting all these things from natural wool. Okay. Actually, they are yes, made up of acrylic. We do not even know, but they are made of that. Why? Because they almost look like wool. They appear to resemble wool. That means they you cannot make out a difference. So we do not know whether it is made up of natural wool or acrylic. So they are prepared from another synthetic fiber called acrylic. So the woolen clothes or the blankets that yes. we are wearing is made up of acrylic. What is the plus point of this acrylic bitter? The it is very cheap. Clothes, yes, the woolen clothes that we get from the natural sources, that is from cheap. the uh, sheep, goat, camel, yak. You, you can understand what I'm talking about. But that's quite yes, expensive man. because their processes are too much. Very expensive. Whereas, yes. when you are making clothes from acrylic, they are quite because they are man-made. Is it clear? Is it clear, Vita? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Clear. Yes. They are available in variety of colors. Synthetic fibers are more durable and affordable, which makes them more popular than natural fibers. How did we find better? Sahil? Good. That is what I want. I want you to analyze yourself. When someone stops you, stop. See what correction has to be done. This is how you will improve every day. I'm telling all of you, Vita. Yes, ma'am. Okay? Please follow. If I'm stopping you, I'm not trying to take out your mistakes, Vita. I'm trying to improve you. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Yes. Okay? Fine. Yes. So, what is the other? Plus point or advantage of acrylic that they are available in variety of colors, different different colors. These fibers are very durable. That means they are long lasting, and they are quite cheap. You can afford them, so that's the reason that they are very popular as compared to natural wool or fibers. Now we come to polyester. Read it's a revision part of huh? polyester and we have already done the polyester. Ma'am, ma I read. Okay, Vita. Sandraj. Yes, Sandraj. Polyester. Alcohol and orga organic acid react together to make compounds called esters, uh, esters, esters. which are polymers. Polyesters. Poly Come under the brand names of tree, terilin, terilin, dacron, terilin, dacron, terin, and polyester. Yes. 
understood this much yes now how this polyester is made bitter we take alcohol we take certain acids we make them react and we get compounds namely esters now what are esters esters is a long chain ester is a long chain and hence we call it as polymers these polyesters polyesters generally we get this polyester generally in the name of terylene dacron terene and polyester is it clear yes ma'am yes now see the properties, properties of, of polyester. polyester resistant to pests and chemicals that means chemicals do not harm the fabric pests. even pests cannot you know what a pest moth they don't make holes yes. they insect moth they, yes moth moth balls so we put naphthalene balls to remember that so yes. they don't yes. make yes. holes in the fabric otherwise in woolen or in the cotton clothes also you can get the infection of fungus as well as the insects they make holes in the uh, fabric have you observed that Yes. Yeah. Next is What is this? Dries quickly. Dries quickly. Dries quickly. Next is dries quickly. That means the cloth when you wash it and keep it for drying it dries very fast next cotton clothes yes easy to wash does not shrink or stretch so it's very easy to wash when you wash generally in cotton clothes either it shrinks or it stretches you know that this cloth does not even shrink neither stretches next forms a permanent permanent case if Please. heated Not and oppressed heated and oppressed if you are pressing the cloth so it's a permanent when you wash it also that crease will not go you understood after wash also the crease yes. will not go it's permanent yes ma'am yeah? then tough lightweight and elastic this is again a positive property or a plus property of uh, polyester yes, that is very durable it is lightweight and it's elastic that's it so i hope you have understood this much the properties of polyester yes yes okay yes, very good now we will see where we can use this polyester is one of you start reading hi Yes, I am making magnetic audio, audio, and we can yes, it, yes, it, floppy disk, floppy disk. Making magnetic audio and video, yes, it, and floppy disk. Making magnetic audio and video, yes, it, and floppy disk. I read. Yes, brother, you have already. Hello. Okay. So, what we can yes. make? We do read. You always know that in audio and video cases, which are magnetic. and floppy disk are also magnetic you know that so what which what are we using we are using polyester polyester so we are using polyester for making audio and video cassettes is it clear hello yes no okay now highly suitable for shooting shooting sarees and draperies okay now shooting and shooting you know that yes You get those uh, advertisements for sarees, for draperies, is for curtains. What is draperies? Curtains. So we are okay. using, yeah, we are using polyester for all this material. Mixed with fiberglass for molding it into helmets, protective sheets, and hulls in boats. Now we can mix with fiberglass and make uh, helmets. Uh, also, you can have uh, a protection as a sheet. And you know what is the hull of the boat? Now this is the boat. I will hear you. No, 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 no. 
no better so this is the board mam side so side mein aisa hota hai beta let me finish please like shovel like this now this is the board this is the hull this down portion is the hull what is the hull beta yes ma'am no. what is this is the hull this is the hull hull okay hull that this has been protective this has been uh, made a protective sheet they make of acrylic and cover the hull so that the hull is not damaged because the whole the water it goes inside the boat through the hull only you know that right so if the hull is damaged the boat will capsize the boat will drown so uh, the uh, the fisherman or the boatman they cover the hull with this acrylic sheet so that uh, it is not damaged is it clear is it clear beta yes yes next Like acrylic. acrylic is often used as a substance for wool. Substitute. Acrylic fibers are strong and wrinkle resistant. Read it again. I said read it again. Acrylic is often used as a substitute for wool. Can anyone start reading? If you not, don't want to read better, then I start. Yes, okay. acrylic. Acrylic is high. High reading. High high reading. High high reading. Acrylic fibers are strong and wrinkle resistant. Yes, I feel. It is easy to wash. Just a moment. Right just, just a moment. Just a moment. <laughs> Let him read. Acrylic. Acrylic is often used as a substitute for wool. Acrylic fibers are strong and wrinkle resistant. It is easy to wash and dry quickly. It is resistant to moss, moss. oil, chemicals, and deter deterioration. 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 See, read like this. Just a moment. On exposure to the light. Deterioration. Deterioration on exposure to sunlight. Sunlight. Yes. What is acrylic? You can use it in place of wool. Very strong, and they don't wrinkle. Very easy to wash, and they dry very fast. Moreover, the best part is it is resistant to moths, that's insects, wrinkle-free chemicals, and they do not go bad. When they are exposed to sunlight, remember even woolen yeah. clothes. If you put it in sunlight, it may fade. It may fade. Whereas this acrylic don't fade. Is it clear? Is it clear, brother. Let's see properties yeah. of acrylic. Yes, ma'am. The properties of acrylic: resistant to moths that we have seen, soft with creams resembling wool. It looks like wool. Next, is durable, light, and washable. That also we know it is long lasting, very light, and you can wash it easily. Strong and, and stain resistant. Very durable, and there is no stain. That means the oil does not stain. The also oil. available in sheets. Fine. Then can be dyed in different colors. So. This one is into moths that we have always done. These are the properties of acrylic. Now let's see what are the uses of acrylic. Read. Then my wife read also all are sunrise. Okay, sunrise. Okay, sunrise. Yes. Acrylic knitting wool is knitting. good for what? Knitting. Name? Knitting. Knitting. Knitting wool is good for baby wears because they. They are soft, warm, ah, uh, warm and washable. Okay. Now, this knitting wool, 
acrylic i told you it is replacing the wool so you can make sweaters out of it but especially for baby the acrylic is used why because they are very soft they are very warm and it's easy to wash next used for making artificial fur blankets carpet etc now we can make artificial fur we can make blankets as well as carpets a transparent type of acrylic is used to cover automobile lights lenses surgical tools etc now there is a type of acrylic which is transparent where you can use yes. it for covering the automobile lights the lenses the surgical instruments what are the tools called as beta instruments so that they can give the protection to the object isn't it beta they can protect it yes yes blending fibers now we are mixing fibers okay Sterling and cotton blend known as sericot is used for making dress materials. Sterling and wool blend is known as sterling wool is used as a substitute for costly woolen clothes. Polyester and cotton blend is called crease resistant. Acrylic and wool blend trousers are less expensive. So now blending. What is the main? Meaning of blending, mixing. We are mixing two types of fibers yes. to make a a better fiber, which has got better qualities of both the fibers. Is it clear? That is called blending. So we are mixing. For example, we are mixing terrylin and cotton. So when we mix, we get terricot. What we get, beta? Terricot. And we are using What? this for terricot. And we are terricot. using terricot for dress materials. Now the other one is terrylin and wool. We we get the name or the brand as terry wool. So instead of costly woolen clothes, you can use the terry wool, which is quite affordable. Next is polyester and cotton. When you are adding this polyester and cotton, it is freeze resistant. That means when you set uh, with that clothes on, the the your clothes don't get crumpled up because it does not make any crease. It remains as such. Next is acrylic and wool. When you are uh, blending acrylic and I wool, need. so the trousers that you are wearing with the acrylic and wool blend trousers, they are quite affordable. They are less expensive. So you can have all this uh, blend of fibers. So let's see characteristics of synthetic fibers. Yes. Read better. Synthetic fibers possess the possess unique characteristics which make them popular dress materials. They dry up quickly, are durable, less expensive, readily available, and easy to maintain. We have all done it. I think one of you please explain. If possible, now you explain things to me, right, Peter? Now, what is the meaning of possess? Possess it has. Possess this fiber has unique characteristics. It is used to make popular dress materials. They dry up quickly and they are long lasting. Also less expensive and readily available in the shop and easy to maintain. Okay, can you use it in your own words if possible? You have almost read the same thing again. You have tried to use your uh, a bit of differences, but I want in your own words. I Will read, ma'am. I have not read once. No, I'm not also. asking you to read. I'm not asking you to read. I'm asking you to explain. Can anyone explain? Yes. Sir. Hello, sir. Hello. 
Can you hear me? Okay, ma'am. Centering fibers pose unique characteristic. They I die. do not ask you to read better, please. Ma'am, I am not reading. I am explaining. Ah, uh, uh, explain. It dies quickly. It is. It does not wrinkle. It is not expensive. Anyone can buy it. They are durable. They are long lasting. Material. And it is easy to maintain. We can make. Uh, it is also a rest material, etc., etc. Okay. Fine. Now, now this I is activity. activity number two. Let's let's let's. What is this? What is this? Is activity? What is this? No, ma'am. What is this? 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 Cloth pieces. Because you read the activity, then only you will come to know. Why should I tell okay, you? Okay, ma'am. Take two cloth pieces of the same size, roughly half a meter square each. One of these should be from natural fiber. From natural fiber. The other could be synthetic fiber. You can take help of your parents in selecting these pieces. Soak the pieces in different mugs. Each contains the same amount of water. What what you make me understand? I did not understand this activity. Can anyone make me understand before? Okay, ma'am. Take two cloth pieces of the same size, roughly okay. half okay. a meter square each. One okay. of these should be from natural from natural fiber. The for other example, could be just a moment. For example. For example, polyester. That is a natural fiber. Ma'am, it is synthetic. Then Natural is fiber synthetic? is wool. And it is uh, polyester. Is, polyester is synthetic. You can take help of your parents in selecting these pieces. Soak the pieces in different modes. You are reading the same thing again. Please stop it. I just asked you to explain. I did not understand what you have read. So just explain to me. And you are reading the same thing. I don't want that. And you, so you didn't say to me to explain. So I was reading. No, I told you. I told you to explain. So you already okay. read it once. Again, okay, you are reading ma'am. it. We have to explain take me. two close cloth pieces from of uh, one natural fiber and another synthetic fiber. Okay. Natural fiber, example, cotton, wool, etc. And synthetic fiber. We can take polyester or any other fiber. Now we have to put the different in different uh, the each mug containing the same amount of water. Okay. We will so find that the cotton or wool woolen cloth will shrink and the the cotton and woolen cloth will shrink. And that is the, natural, right? And what about synthetic? Yes. The synthetic what fiber synthetic? will not shrink. Good. All of you agree? Let's take yes. cotton. Yes. Let's, take, let's take cotton. Yes. You put water, yes. it becomes, you know, soggy. It absorbs it all the water. Absorb yes or the, no? Uh, you take wool, it absorbs yes. all the water. But, yes, but if you tear it in, it will look like this. See, this will not absorb. Got it now? Yes, it does not absorb. Now you understood why the, I did not tell you the message of this picture? You will find yes. it. Yes, so this is your synthetic fiber meter. You understand now? This will yes. not absorb your water. What is the answer? Yes. Then again explain it. Yes, I did. Do synthetic fibers, fabric soak less water, what uh, less or more water than the natural fabrics? Do they take less or more time to dry? What does the activity tell you about the characteristic of the synthetic fiber fabric? 
Tell me. Yes. The synthetic fiber absorb soaked absorbed less water. They dried very fast. Uh, they dry more. They does not faster. More time dry faster. Dry. Than, and the activity is done. <laughs> so all of you understood. Yes. yes. The fabric soak less water than the natural fungus. All of you agree? Yes. How much yes. time they yes, take to dry? They take less time to dry, isn't it, better? Yes. Extra time to dry. Less time to dry. Yes. More time to dry. Exactly. Yes, ma'am. Activity number three. Take the fishes out of pieces. the containers after five minutes and spread them in the sun for a few minutes. Compare the volume of the water remaining in each container. You take the pieces. What are the pieces? One is natural pieces cloth. Are... The other one is synthetic yeah. cloth. Isn't it better? So you will take out these pieces of the containers after five minutes soaking in the uh, uh, container. And then you spread it for dry under the sun. What you will you find? How much water is remaining in the container? Will it be mm -hmm. more in, uh, listen, will it be more, will it be more in the synthetic or in the natural? In the synthetic, the water will be more. In the, in what will be more? In the synthetic, synthetic exactly. In the synthetic, the water will be more as compared to the natural. So all of you understood? Because it did not soak the water. The water remained as such. Let's see advantages of synthetic fibers. You have to explain everything each and every night. Now I've taught you. Yes, now Sufyan, it's your turn explain. to teach me. Now it's your turn to teach me better. Sufyan, it's your turn to explain. I had explained. Yes. Strong. Synthetic fibers are strong so they can take up everything easily. Mm -hmm. First, I will bring then explain. Yes, brother. As you can Retain their original shape. Synthetic fibers retain their original, original shape so it is easy to wash and wear. Elastic can easily be stretched out. Soft. Synthetic fibers are generally soft so they are used in clothing materials. Color, varieties of colors are available as. Yes. And as they are manufactured. Clothes made by synthetic fibers are generally cheaper than those made by natural fibers. Okay. Then, now explain one by one. First one is strong synthetic fibers. The fibers are strong. Okay, explain with them. So they can take up heavy things. Yes. How is it possible? Yes. Very fine, Listen, you can make a wire ready. out of it. Can you make wires yes. out of it? And it can carry you. It can carry you. Please yes. put off your mind. Sufyan is doing it. <laughs> I will ask you to stop them better. Be careful. Okay. Next. Next, who will explain? Who? Oh. Who will explain, Vita? Ma'am, Sufyan was explaining. Yes, stop. So you do it. Sorry. Hello. Explain, Sophia. Hello. Sophia, explain. In my town, 
हमारे क्या इस बारे में रहेगा भाई आई थिंक देयर इज सम डिस्टरबेंस इन माय कैन एनीवन एल्स स्टार्ट टू रीड वेल व्हाई आर यू टेलिंग टू ईच अदर प्लीज यू कैन एक्सप्लेन हेलो कैन एनी ऑफ यू yes okay okay strong synthetic fibers are strong that means they are so strong that they can pull you even so with the help of uh, the rope we can go up in the on the rocks and mountains yes or no we can do rock climbing so that means these strong ropes can hold us as well we are heavy aren't we heavy so it can take up us easily on the mountains retain their original shape so the the clothes that you are wearing of uh, synthetic fibers they have the, they do not shrink not they stretch so they remain in their original shape so you can wear it easily you can wash it easily you can wear it easily no problem at all elastic can easily be stretched out you have certain clothes which is you know body hugging stretchable jeans you wear remember do you wear stretchable jeans at times so these clothes you can stretch it and anybody can get into that clothes soft they are soft so we use it for making clothes we have varieties of colors uh, to put Uh, beauty. I mean, it looks beautiful. When it's colorful, it looks beautiful. Cost. We know that the clothes which are made from the synthetic fibers are generally or affordable. They are very affordable because they are less expensive than as compared to natural fibers. Is it clear to all of you, boys? Is it clear to all of you? Hello. Yes. Yes. Okay, so you know? yes. Was the time? Was the time now? Still have some time? No, I only three minutes. Bye, ma'am. Have a nice day. Take care. Yeah, did they say bye? Yes. Ma'am, only three minutes are left. Only three minutes. Doesn't matter. We can finish this. This advantage okay. is of synthetic fibers. Please read. Does not absorb moisture. Synthetic fibers do not absorb sweat, trapping heat in our body. Rough feel. Synthetic fibers may give rough feel, making it uncomfortable for pajamas, underwear, etc. It is dangerous to wear near fire. As they can fire easily, they cannot be easily ironed as they melt very easily. Okay, so what are the disadvantages? First is, do not absorb sweat. That is what I taught you earlier, isn't it? So we cannot wear it during warm season, during warm climate. We cannot wear the synthetic fibers because you feel sweaty. You feel very hot. this fibers have got a rough feel at times because then it becomes very uh, difficult for us to be using it as pajamas or underwears so we should not wear all these things made up of synthetic fibers also in the kitchen when you are working with in the kitchen you should not wear it because very dangerous near fire because they catch the fire very easily and you know that the melting point is very low so you cannot iron all this clothes because it will burn okay the clothes will burn remember that so you should not iron all this uh clothes made up of synthetic fibers any problem no ma'am so i think we finish in just 2 minutes what do you say yes ma'am you know yes. advantages see when you know advantages you know disadvantages as well still one minute left i think so right now yeah. we have we have finished rayon nylon acrylic isn't it and polyester 
and polyester. So these fours are over. Now we are going to start with plastics. What are we going to start with? Plastic. Plastic. Okay. Is it clear? Whatever we, whatever we learn today, is everything very uh, clear to you? Yes, ma'am. Very clear. Very clear? No problem? No. No, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Have a good day, then. Have a good day, ma'am. Bye. Take care. Sure, sure. Take care. Bye, ma'am. Bye, ma'am.